Monster Hunter Wilds was just announced and I decided to make a wish list of all the monsters I would love to see make a return. The max amount of monsters I decided that could return are 40. I know that is a lot for returning monsters, especially for the base game, so we could split it up and add half later on in the expansion. Cause this isn't a wish list, I data mine the entire game. Anyways, this was streamed live on my Twitch channel, so if you want to see more of my Monster Hunter content, go follow it. The tiers I came up with are inevitable, meaning monsters that are in majority of the games, inevitable but don't want to see as in monsters we repeatedly see but can use a break, needs to be in which is monsters that I think have to come into wilds, they have no choice I'm forcing them to, want to be in as I want this monster to come back but I could see Capcom overlooking them, and then last copium which is for monsters I would love to see come back but I don't think they have a chance. We don't know if Monster Hunter Wild is actually fully open world or not. I theorize it is, I think it is, uh, the maps look huge, so I think that plays on a factor of what monsters should be in it or not. There's a theory for underwater combat, I don't think underwater combat's gonna be in it. Sure, it's the, their logo thing, with the whole, oh, it's reflecting, and then the raindrops, but then also, you know, Heat Mirage, and they showed off, you know, the desert. Also, I don't think we should only think desert monsters, because I think that's where everyone's head is at. Uh, I think we should look past that. I think there's every region in the game, not just a desert. Should I just use Dread King? I can't find normal Rathalos. Rathalos is inevitable. Rathalos is already in the trailer. He's inevitable. So is Rathian. I can't find the other one, so we'll just use Dread King. Queen. Whatever. Those two are in every monster in your game. So is... Where is Diablos? Diablos has only skipped one monster hunter since his inclusion. I actually wouldn't be opposed of Wilds being, maybe no monsters return, only the the main main ones return. Maybe it's like Try and none of these monsters will make it, which honestly I'm completely fine with. Baroth is pretty inevitable, but honestly I don't want Baroth. Baroth's been in pretty much every game since his inclusion, but I think I think he deserves a break. I don't know. There, I think there's been too many, too much bullying of Baroth. He could, uh, he could use a rest. I think I've hunted him enough where, uh, he could take a chill pill. Honestly, I would like to move Diablos down to don't want. You know what? I'm moving Diablos down to don't want because I think there's a monster that deserves to be higher than Diablos. Or to be in it more than Diablos to make him shine. I'd, I'd like to see Raging again for a specific reason. I'll get upon that later. But I think... I think Rajang's a staple. He's a welcome staple. I like hunting Rajang. I just hope they return to his world side a bit more. Rises was a bit of a disappointment. So, return the monkey to former glory. Do I want more Zenogre? Yeah, I want more Zenogre. Zenogre's awesome. I don't think I've ever hunted Zenogre and had a bad time. Well, I guess I did in the mod, but that's an exception. Sinogre's always fun. He's an always welcome addition. He's very fun. Super simple dodge timings. When you want to be brain dead, you fight Sinogre. <laughs> Tigrex. I do not want Tigrex in Wilds. For a plethora of reasons. I'm I'm done fighting this monster. The back and forth is just a headache. I think I think they could make him better. Maybe more movesets. Like more moves for him. But other than that, I, I just can't take the roaring and charging <laughs> anymore. Please make it stop. I'm kind of torn for Baryoth. I want to see Baryoth make a comeback. Baryoth, you know what? I, I want Baryoth in, but I want him to have like a move, new move set, or just change something about the monster. He's, he's felt the same ever since introduction, and something like Nargakuga hasn't changed insanely much. But there's just something missing with Baryoth that I would like to see more. He, he just. There's nothing special about him anymore, where I felt like in Try, he was kind of- he felt faster in old gen games, especially in Try. He was also a bit harder in the older games, so I'd like to see at least like new moves or something from him. I'd like to see a touch-up from Baryoth. I guess I'd like to see- not see Ludroth. I don't know, not- not much of a special monster, has been mostly in every game since introduction. Skipped World, not my most favorite monster, he's alright, but- I could live without him. Kushala. I don't want Kushala back. Not- I think Kushala was very good in Rise. Very, very good in Rise. The, the changes were amazing. 
Uh, I think I could use a break from Kushala though. I feel like if we do go back to the new world, not we don't know if it's in the new world, old world, maybe third continent. I'd like it to be in third uh, third continent, but if it is new world, then uh, world Kushala can come back, and that's kind of a horrifying reality to live in that I don't want happening. Uh, I love Nargakuga. Same as Zinogre. I think his fight is always fun. I don't think I've ever got bored of it. Think, oh, here's Pookie. Was that Pookie in the trailer? Was that Pookie armor? I don't know if it is. I mean, he's already in the game, so I can't even have a much of a say if that is his armor. It does look a bit different, so I don't know if that's just the staple. That might be the staple armor, but eh, just throw Pookie in there, why not? Uh, I don't want to see Teostra either. I'm fine with 5th gen Teostra. He was fine. I want a break from Teostra. I think there's been too many games with Teostra and Kushala in it. I think it's time for maybe a new Elder Dragon trio. Kirin. Uh, I think, honestly, I think Kirin can be cool. Because the whole weather thing, I think Kirin can play a part of But is there a cooler electric dragon? I'll keep Kirin in inevitable for now. But yeah, I, I think Kirin could be cool in the overworld seeing, you know, electric strikes. Will Devil Joe be able to finally eat his own tail? If that's the case, then yes, he does deserve to be in. And I do want him in. I'll touch up on Joe later, though, why I want him in. When, yeah, Garuga can fuck off. I don't like Garuga. Uh, world, actually, if it does take place in the new world, I'm fine with the Angaruga being in, but I think he's still a waste of a slot. A cooler monster can take his place. Old world Garuga pisses me off, so. I would like to see Seregios, only because he needs a variant. For whatever reason, Seregios has not gotten a variant for whatever reason. I don't know why. He needs a variant. He's also very cool and fun to fight. So yeah, Basarios is not a fun monster. Don't know why they brought him back in Rise. And honestly, kept him bringing back since the first generation of games. He could die for all I care. Just stop. Stop bringing this monster back. I, no, no one wants him. No one wants to fight a rock. I would love to see World Raging Bracky back. But if Raging Bracky doesn't come back, then I really don't care for it. But I guess for that reason, Raging Bracky can stay. Maybe I'll change my mind. If Raging Bracky comes with him, definitely. If only normal Bracky, he could he could die in a hole for all I care. Not to say I like Brachydios, but I could do two games without him. I love Mizu, but I don't really want Mizu back for a certain reason. I'll I'll put the three faded. You might be know where I'm getting at this, but I will put the other three faded four members. The Fated Four Amazing Monsters, if they are in the game, I would love them, right? They're a welcome addition, but uh, I think it's Gameth's time to shine. But Gameth needs to be in another Monster Hunter. I did say Gameth is a punching bag, and that is true. I hope they do touch up on that. It's hard to make Gameth faster, but Gameth has such a cool design. I love the fur pattern. Awesome. Cool armors as well. Missing out on the fifth generation when Mizu, Ocelos, and Clavinus had time of their lives in that generation it was kind of sad to see gameth left out so i think in payback i think the three should sit out and let gameth truly shine was were those Go goss harag variants they did have weird tail things people do theorize those are like sand harags uh i guess we'll put in next to pookie as they're kind of confirmed i guess i don't know they also had red faces it's hard to tell i'm fine with goss coming back though goss was a very awesome monster oh here's arzuros oh yeah arzuros could be in don't want arzuros kind of the same reason for Baroth has been getting shit on for the past decade now kezu haha funny funny bgm penis monster don't want kezu back i like kezu i'm not a kezu hater there's a lot of kezu haters same reason why i put kushala uh teoshra and the faded uh the three faded four members here uh, I think it's time for another monster to shine. It's Giganox's time to shine. For whatever reason, Capcom has abandoned Giganox for weird reasons. It would have fit perfectly fine in the fourth generation, and especially GU. I don't know why it wasn't in GU, but Giganox is just the cooler Kezu, uh, uh, cooler Kezu in all honesty. It's a lot weirder looking, interesting, very alien-like, awesome design, uh, especially if there's like a cave system. I could see Giganoxes being very interesting monsters. And also, if Giganox returns, that means the return of Giggies. Giggies are 
the best small monster. I don't care what anyone says. They hobble around and they're, they're funny little guys. Basil Geese needs to be in this game. And for one reason, Coral Pecco needs to come back. Holy shit, what an awesome monster. And if all three evasion monsters come back, it it would be amazing. Especially for an open world game, because honestly, the Rathalos flying away, I don't know if that was gameplay. I'm assuming it's gameplay. But the render distance looked very good. So could you imagine a B250 coming out of nowhere? And you just see that, and then a Rajang running across the desert with, like, the sand flying everywhere. And then Devil Joe just comes out of a bush out of nowhere. It would be terrifying. And if Coral Pecco can call all three, that would be very funny. And if no one has ever encountered this monster, you, you encounter him very low. So a person who started with World, he does this funny little call. Someone would be like, oh, he's just he's singing. He's being a goofy little guy. And then... Uh, they hear the uh, roars of all three invaders. And that's how you make a hunter shit themselves. And I think Curl Pecco is such an amazing monster that was not in GU for whatever reason, just like Giganox. He needs to come back. It's an awesome gimmick. It really is. And he's never been in a game with Rajang, too, which is very weird. Okay, another monster that has Capcom, for whatever reason, has decided to turn a blind eye to. Great Jaggy. Great Jaggy is the best great in Drome, period. He ne he needs to come back. He's gotten cucked now from Rise, which they teased us for whatever reason to have Little Jaggy and Jagai in Rise, but not Great Jaggy. That pissed me off. And not being in GU, the celebration of the series, for whatever reason. Great Jaggy need needs to be in this game. Uh, Ignactor needs to be in this game. Another tease in Rise. Only reason why I'm putting this in here, because they put in Eructors in Rise, and not Ignactor, for whatever reason. Ignactor needs to come back, and maybe in the expansion, bring back Glacial Ignactor, who is one of my favorite monsters ever. These are just two amazing monsters, and with a 5th gen moveset, I think can be very interesting, and very awesome to fight. The OG Velocidrome. I think Velocidrome can join Jaggy, Great Jaggy in the very early rank. Just just have a throwback. Very classic monster. was the first monster ever you hunted in Monster Hunter 1. And I think seeing him in a brand new engine and a whole new light in a 6th generation game, I think it'd be very awesome and something special. Legiacris has been... No, actually, the, we know the reason for Loggy not being in the game. Loggy was shown for World, but was taken out due to... Uh, I think, I, if I remember correctly, they said his skeleton structure would, like, bug out due to World's terrain. Uh, hopefully, uh, from the time they were doing that in World, they and Wilds is released, they figure out how to put Loggy in a game. I think Capcom wants to put Loggy in a game, and they know he's a super popular monster. I think this is the perfect game for him to be in. Especially, you know, if the underwater theory is true. I don't think it is, but... In GU, he, he definitely did fell off with his fight, so I think having a 5th gen fight can make him return to his former glory even if underwater combat's not in i think uh they can make him very scary without making him a hyper akura vashimu needs to come into a monster hunter sooner or later a scorpion monster is just an amazing concept for whatever reason never brought into mainline espionos being in sunbreak i think opened the floodgate for uh frontier monsters to come in so i think the most perfect one would be jebia and in this game too because if it is open world it can burrow and then have its tail peek out and then people would think that's mining spots and then go to the mining spot and then oh no that's actually a monster and now you're actually in a combat vashimu is just an awesome monster just scorpion a scorpion monster is just awesome if vashimu or jebia don't make it they need to make a new scorpion monster and put it in a main line you know what? while we're on the topic of frontier and to start off my wants furokururu i want furokururu in a monster Hunter game i think he can be implemented into wilds in a way i've always said that photo kururu shouldn't come back unless his map comes back because he has a unique gimmick where he sucks up the nectar and then that's what his ailment becomes and he's a very unique monster i think he's one of the i think he is the best monster fight to be honest he is status alatrion i guess to put it simply but they could maybe make a little area that's just like a flower bed and that's the only way you encounter him which I think would be really cool. I think they could 
make him work. And I do, I really want Furukuru to come back because he is such an amazing monster. And I feel like more people need to experience this monster. They don't, they shouldn't need to nerf him at all. He's a, he's a more so tame frontier monster. And his music, oh, his OST if he comes back and they don't touch his OST if he comes back. Celtus Queen and Celtus are very cool. If you don't know their gimmick, they're kind of like a transformer mecha thing that Celtus Queen grabs the Celtus and puts it on. They're kind of like a Gundam. They pilot it. Very cool gimmick. Very awesome. I think them being in a 6th gen game, they could flesh that out even more. Another frontier monster, Padiapuria. I don't think he's a cope. I hate Supremacy Padiapuria. That moveset is awful. But uh, I think in a 6th gen game, they reworked his moveset be very good his high rank version is very good very cool monster very awesome design i think he could easily become a fan favorite like a Legiacris. he has that very unique design where i think a lot of people would love him for it mana blows i got sidetracked needs to be in this game oh my god why why is he forgotten his fight's the same as diablo's sure i guess but he was such an important monster in monster one he was the final village boss of monster Hunter one and for some reason diablos took his place i don't know why monoblos is such an important monster i feel like to the franchise just because he was the first hurdle of the series so i i just don't i never understood why diablos got the favoritism and I, i'd love to see him return make his glorious return in a sixth generation game and even if diablos is in it he's such easy easy to code just remove the one just remove both horns put in the one bam bada ping bada boom oh yeah me uh do i want myself in the game yes i want me to be in the game do i need to be in the game a lot of people don't don't like nibble snarf's fight but they're stupid, so yes, he needs to be in the game. Nibble Snarf missed out on 5th gen, which is sad. I don't think Nibble Snarf needs to be a staple. He doesn't need to be in every game. He he does have a funny name, though, which does, uh you know, get him a pass more than others. But he he is a unique monster. Whether you hate him or not, you have to, you have to admit he's unique, to say the least. I think eating barrel bombs is a very unique concept, and fishing him up is so awesome. He's an awesome monster. The funniness does not stop at his name. That's all I'll say. He, he needs to come back. I think Najarla needs to be in Wilds. More so because I would love to see Tidal Najarla to come back. Because Tidal Najarla is one of also one of my favorite subspecies. I think it takes a very simple, cool monster and makes it even cooler. And also, he just he feels like he fits the game. I don't know how to explain it. Like, from the trailer, he fits it very well. And I guess the snakes being in the logo, too, kind of convinced me. I, yeah, I want Oroshi in. Uh, Oroshi was cut from Iceborne, apparently, uh, due to time restraints and COVID. So I would love to see Oroshi come back. One of my favorite subspecies. Very cool. Very awesome monster. Kreas Ipusu is such an awesome monster. And he could, he's not even that intense of a monster. He could fit into a mainline game so easily. He is so awesome. His crystals are so cool his little drill horn thing and he spent he has so many cool moves curse pusu was a very old frontier monster he doesn't feel like a insane uh like how disu Fiora is uh, people think what frontier is he kind of feels more of a second genish monster so to bring him back would be very cool and very nice i want my boy tetranodon back he's he's a goofy guy him and Nibble Snarf can be goofy together and it'd be very funny to see. Maybe they'll have a goofy turf war. Torrid, awesome, awesome monster. It, exactly why I like Zenogre. Not because they're both electric monsters, lightning monsters, but Torrid is so fun to fight. His Go version's not in, an insane monster, so they could put that monster in it. And I think it'd be really cool to fight Torrid again. He just has so many fun interesting moves and if they even span further upon that i think it could be very nice i want Ketchawaka and ash Ketchawaka to come back Ketchawaka, another funny silly guy also ash Ketchawaka's armor is so cool one of my favorites such an underrated armor set it's awesome you know what my first copia monster dire morales now i said we don't know how special arenas are gonna work 
but I think Dire, they could set up an amazing uh, piece with the open world with Dire Morales if they choose to not do special locations. Imagine there's a big volcano on the map. You have to climb it. You, you go to climb it, then there's meteors coming down. And then like the halfway point you hear is roar and shit. And then like lava starts spewing and shit. And then you get to the tippy top and then there's Dire peeks his head out. And then his theme starts playing and then you have to fight him. So I think there could be an awesome set piece in the game with Dyer. That could be really cool, I think. Have his own little area. And when you're getting to him, maybe make a meteors rain down. Also, he's my favorite mainline monster. He's he's one of the best monsters ever, I think. His design is awesome, and he could easily be a fan favorite. I would love for Rukadeo to come back, especially if we get a break from Teosha and Kushala. I think it could be really cool for Rukadeo to shine. Because, honestly, he's not too intense. He's not like a Disu Fiora where it's like, I don't even know what's going on in this hunt, this monster's way out of this league. I think Rukadeor is very on par with Teostra and Kushala, and I think he could fit in a mainline game, especially a, a console game, where I feel like if Duray Madeira, for example, was to come back, I would love for Duray to come back, but I think he would suit more of a portable game as those games are now have a trend to be fast paced. I think he could be an amazing addition and honestly maybe Teostra, Kushala, and Camellios can have a buddy and they could be a, a squad. Obviously I'm talking about Rukadeora's uh, Go and high rank version rather than his G and Zenith versions. Dala is a fan favorite, super popular. I would love to see him come back. I mean there's the whole snake theory. Sure I'll put him in Copium. Anor is an awesome monster. Uh, I think he has a less of a chance than Fudo has or Adia or any Frontier monster I mentioned. Just because I think his moveset's very interesting. The whole lightning with the snow and icicles. I don't know. It's it's a lot. It's a lot in moveset. He's definitely a very chaotic monster. I would love to see him return. I can't see him in a main game, a mainline game, even a console game I could see him in. Get Plesioth in. I'll say Copium due to people hating him. We need the villain back. He, he's the villain of the Monster Hunter franchise. He's scarred so many hunters. Cetus is awesome. One of the coolest monster designs ever. Has an awesome arena theme. Just the atmosphere of the fights. It's so good. Dire Morales can work out of water. I would not like it to. I would love for Dire to return with water. But I can see Dire coming back without water. Unlike Cetus is only stuck to water. Cetus can have such an amazing glow up like Fatalis did. Obviously, I would like a game with every monster in it. That's not possible, though. Except Yamatsukami, fuck that monster. And there you have it. These are all 40 monsters that I would love to see in Wilds. Let me know what monster you would like to see make a return. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.